Afternoon folks, it's Eddie. It's just before four o'clock on our Saturday and there certainly is a lot of weather to talk about across the province right now. We'll start by taking a look at the temperatures. Look at that differential between southeastern Newfoundland and western Labrador. 13 degrees in St. John's right now. That might be a record. Minus 22 in Labrador City and Wabush. On the island, we're also seeing that big temperature difference between east and west and north and south. Notice from Gander back to Corner Brook, Rocky Harbor, Northern Peninsula, even the Baybert Peninsula, temperatures are all below the freezing mark. And temperatures and where temperatures are below freezing, that's pretty much where we are seeing either freezing rain, ice pellets, or snow. And right now it looks like that snow freezing rain line is a little bit farther south than it looked like it was going to be going back to yesterday. Now here is the latest radar imagery. And as we can see across eastern Newfoundland right now, there's not really a whole lot on the go. We are seeing a few showers here and there. It's as we go farther west, we are seeing areas of very heavy rainfall across portions of southwestern Newfoundland from Burgio to Port of Basque. And then as we go just north of the Stephenville area, we are starting to run into that ice pellet kind of freezing rain mix. And you can see it there in purple. However, it does look like some areas of the West Coast, including in Corner Brook, are seeing more in the way of freezing rain and snow rather than freezing rain and ice pellets, which tells me that the air aloft is actually a little bit colder than it looked like it was going to be. And it also tells me that the freezing rain is likely going to, occur, going to occur a little bit farther south than it looked like it was going to. So Stephenville, while temperatures for you right now are just above the freezing mark, that freezing rain ice line is not too far away from you. And it is probably trying to work its way down to the south. Now I'll watch the radar here and we'll put it in motion over the last hour or so. And you can see not really a whole lot of movement in that rain ice line, but it's also not really moving north either. And the cold air is only forecast to get a little bit deeper this evening. So that freezing rain rain line may dip farther south. So Stephenville, parts of interior Newfoundland, certainly not out of the woods. Meanwhile, on the Bay Vert Peninsula, Northern Peninsula, we are seeing heavy snowfall this afternoon, which will linger for several more hours before starting to relax at least somewhat as we get into the overnight hours. Now we'll take a look at the current views in St. John's where it's mild right now, 13 degrees in the capital city, going a little bit farther towards central, obviously looking a little bit more wintry. We are seeing freezing rain in and around the Grand Falls, Windsor area right now. Badger currently reporting a temperature of minus two. And into Corner Brook, we're looking at the snow and freezing rain kind of fight. Looks like it's a bit of a mix there on the webcam right now. Temperature in Corner Brook coming in at minus three. And in fact, as we go over to windy.com, you can see in pretty good detail where the cold air and the warm air is. It's pretty well right along this line here. And this line, or at least close to it, is probably where we're seeing at least the freezing rain just north of it and the rain just south of it. And you can see the temperatures. It's minus two right now in Grand Falls, Windsor, minus one in Gander, but nine degrees in Bay Roberts, six degrees in Greats Cove, but just one in Bonavista. And as we get up toward the northeast coast, temperatures are near the freezing mark and we're well into that cold air in and around the Corner Brook area. However, we're going to see how far south this cold air sinks because right now it's still two degrees in Stephenville and minus four in Corner Brook. So somewhere between these two areas, you will run into that freezing rain and that will be the trend as we go into this evening. The question is essentially just how far south is the freezing rain going to go as we go into the overnight. Right now, Environment Canada does have the freezing rain warning in effect for, for from areas of Bonavista North all the way as far west as Corner Brook and vicinity, including Grand Falls, Windsor, vicinity, Gander, Bay of Exploits, Buckins in the Interior, and Deer Lake Humber Valley. Farther northwest, Green Bay, White Bay, Grossmore, and Parsons Pond, Northern Peninsula, you're under a winter storm warning. So areas under a winter storm warning looks like more snow than ice, and areas under the freezing rain warning, significant icing is possible, although with the latest developments showing that freezing rain looking a little bit farther south, we might not get the, the tremendous ice storm it looked like we were going to see over a good swath 
of central and western Newfoundland. It might be south closer to the interior, which isn't good, but it's better than ha happening over a populated area. But we have to keep an eye on that infrastructure, that power infrastructure that's currently across the interior portion of Newfoundland. Rainfall warnings also in effect right now from Bay St. George all the way to the Avalon Peninsula as far north as Bonavista North for 50 to 80 millimeters of rain between tonight and Tuesday. Now here is the ice forecast over the next couple of days. This is what's the most important, but what I want to show you, to show you is that it looks like the ice amounts have gone a little bit lower, which is a good thing, and it looks like the heaviest ice might actually be over the interior portion of Newfoundland. It's not a given, but it's something that is a very good possibility. So I'll be keeping a close eye on that over the next couple of days. Snowfall amounts, keep in mind a lot of this on the Northern Peninsula, 20, 30, 40 centimeters, and same thing up towards Green Bay, White Bay has already fallen. So we're not expecting a whole lot more after this evening and overnight. However, we will tack on a few more centimeters, it looks like on Monday before we get that change to rain for all areas during the day on Monday. Now we look at future cast, and as you can see, here we go over the next couple of days. That ice freezing rain mix continues through central this evening. Once we are Kind of into tomorrow morning, it looks like we start to get a little bit of a break in the ice through central and more rain across portions of southeastern Newfoundland. But where that freezing rain rain is, is still a bit up in the air. It could be a little bit farther south than what the computer here is showing. During the day on Sunday, more precipitation moves towards southeastern Newfoundland. It looks like most of it's going to be in the form of potentially very heavy rainfall. Some ice is going to be falling north and west of Clarenville during the day tomorrow. As we go into tomorrow evening, we get a, another break in the precipitation, but it's still heavy rain for southeastern Newfoundland. And then Monday morning, we see the warm air beginning to take hold once more, and all this warm air and moisture begins to lift off toward the north and west. And it looks like by Monday evening, most of us are seeing either ice pellets freezing rain, light freezing rain, or rain as the warm air does take over. Now we are talking about some significant rainfall amounts for some areas of southern and eastern Newfoundland over the next couple of days. And that is one map I actually did forget to bring up. And I know a lot of folks are probably wondering how much rain there is going to be. So just hang on. Let me pull this up for you real quickly. And it does look like the heaviest rainfall is obviously going to be over southern portions of Newfoundland and even eastern areas as well. So pull that up right now for you. And as you can see, we're gonna run this through time real quickly. The heaviest rainfall over the next couple of days is going to be over southern, and it looks like really southern Newfoundland and the Buren Peninsula, where over 100 millimeters is possible from just east of Port of Basque, from Burgio to Harbor Breton to parts of the Buren Peninsula and potentially even parts of the Avalon where it looks like the Avalon North is kind of kissing that 75 to 100 millimeter amount by Monday morning. Keep in mind, there will be more rain into Tuesday, but it looks like after Monday morning, the heaviest rainfall is going to be done. So we're still talking about heavy rain, heavy snow, and potential for heavy ice over the next couple of days. And if you're anywhere from central Newfoundland to the west coast, even the northeast coast, be on alert for wintry weather this evening. And it's going to be a fight for some areas between freezing rain and snow. And where exactly that is, it's hard to say right now, but I'll be keeping a close eye on it. I'll have more updates for you as needed later today, but more than likely tomorrow. So if you're in an area seeing freezing rain, you very well may see a power outage. So certainly keep that in mind. Stay safe. Be prepared, as Frankie McDonald says. And have a great evening. And stay tuned for more weather updates as warranted.